Hello and welcome to the Ski Racing Podcast with me, Ed Drake, and me, Todd Nelson. And this week, we have been in Levy for the women's slalom. Ed, it was a great weekend. Oh, it was a fantastic weekend. A lovely weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a nice weekend? Uh, a lovely weekend. Good. It was cold. Flipping really, cold, yeah. really cold. Really cold. Um, which then froze the podium in place from Saturday to oh, Sunday. <laughs> You've been practicing that one. You were thinking that one in the car, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you were like, <laughs> But it was. I'm mean, a bit annoyed that I didn't come up with it. Wow. Well, yeah. uh, right, we can't yeah. all be uh, experts of lives. But before we start talking about it, please, can we just remind you, if you're liking our shows, please subscribe. It means a lot to us. It helps us grow the audience uh, and uh, we can make more of these videos, which is always good. So subscribe, tell your friends, like it. Uh, spread the word, please. Spread it. Because So Ed can buy more terrible jumpers. I think... I- you know, so you'll wait and see the comments. Yeah, comment below. Um, do you talk about skiing? Let's talk about skiing. Let's do some skiing. So, where do we start with this crazy weekend where we are basically got the same uh, result both times, right? Yes. Um, tell us what happened. Why did that happen? Um, I don't know, it was just the best skiers on the day, mate. It's normally how it works. There you go. And, and I'll um, see you next week. Until next time. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It, do you know what? It was really refreshing to see Lena Durr on the podium. She's been around for a while mm. on the tour. Um, she's been highs and lows. She's been on the team, off the team. Yeah. Uh, she's had a podium before, decent time ago. Yeah. Um, in parallel, I believe. Again, just made up a thing. It um, could be made up, but I'm pretty sure that's true. Um, and then, yeah, first classic podium, and then she backs up the following day. I, I don't, I don't know. I think summer been training really hard, going really well. Levy, the snow is was brutally icy, but very grippy. Yeah. Um, classic sort of Scandinavian, you know, really dry snow mm. up there because that's how it is without those snow conditions. And she just, um, she bossed it really. I mean, odds for her getting on the podium would have been a billion to one, best part of. <laughs> Um, so if anyone picked him, nobody on the Ski Racing Podcast Predictions League picked Lena Durr for the podium. Not so, a shock. N- n- yeah, exactly. Um, so I-, I don't know. I think she just smashed it. Literally just that second run both days was really good. Um, some subpar performances, not to mm. take anything from Lena Durr because she earned that. She definitely yeah. earned that podium. But, you know, Liensberger was down in sixth on the first day, eighth on the second day. Uh, Sven Larsson, yep. we, we talked about her coming back from this time last year. If you listen to Eurosport commentary, they talked about it a bunch of times about how she got COVID this time last year, so wasn't able to race, had to isolate up in Finland and then um, then hurt her ankle. So she but she came back with a bang. She was in fifth. Schlokar backed up that parallel, she backed up a parallel fourth yeah. in the first race. So uh, plenty of good performances out there. When mm. uh, Wendy Holden her back with her after double Sandy wrist Wendy. injury, Sandy Wendy sent it on the second day into fourth. So yeah. Uh, Lena Dodge just owned it though. She was really quiet, really. She, she was quite relaxed. Yeah, relaxed skiing and just. It's quite free. impressive to go go take a podium on the first day and not let that kind of go to your head and kind of take the positives of the confidence and not yeah. the negative. Yeah. Um. And and for your kind of for your body, like, what's it like to race the same thing the next day? Uh, I always, I always quite liked it because yeah. it gave you a chance to. Was it that consistency? Yeah, that it gave you, flow? yeah, just in case you ever sort of made a mistake and you got a chance to put it right straight away. Because most of the time you go to World Cup and the next day you're not there or, or you change disciplines, uh, and so any errors or sort of things you sort of kick yourself. And obviously yeah. everyone kicks themselves after a racing run because you made whether it's a small mistake or a big mistake. You've always there's always something you could have done better, and you'll know it. So mm. to be for these guys to be able to race again the next day and put it to put it to rights which charlie guest gb racing fans out there missed the cut on the first day yeah. uh, and then smashed it on the second day with a 20th position so she got to do that she yeah. got to go hang on a minute i messed up on that first run i wasn't aggressive enough my legs were too stiff i wasn't dynamic down the seat and then gone you know fix it and i guess also the the feel of the snow they know that because yeah. obviously you know yeah, a lot people of should tra- know that the, the course isn't the same. No, like no, it's not. No. It's by set by a different coach, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's not the same course, but the snow is relatively similar. I'm assuming. Yeah. So you can kind of yeah, the snow will be relatively to it, similar, right? and because the snow was really hard, there wasn't any cross ruts or anything like that. And uh, yeah, course set's very different. So the Austrians on the second second run of the second day set a set something out of Antti Kostelic's books with gates just randomly positioned in multiple different places. Uh, distances were, 
the distances between the turns were different. Every turn offset was different every turn, which is fine. Isn't that, you know, that's quite good. Yeah. You know, it keeps them, keeps them guessing and, and um, it means that every course is different. So that's good. But um, yeah, I think I like the fact that you get to do a back to back and doesn't usually t tend to throw up an identical no. from day to day. <laughs> and it would be really interesting to know when the last time I was. I mean, that's, yeah. a, that's a while ago. Uh, comment below if you know. Um, let's go to the second place, Schifrin. Now, she made a massive mistake on the Sunday. Yeah. Um, what happened on the Saturday? Uh, just, I think she's she took a lot of time off with this back spasm that she was having between mm -hmm. Solden and uh levy so she was uh, and i think that plagued her a little bit because she didn't quite look her fluid self and i think if you when we have a look at the analysis between schifrin and vlahova's runs you, i think schifrin just doesn't look like her normal self yet and i don't want to you know sort of give her an excuse or whatever she was beaten and she, she's the first person to say that she was beaten by the better racer on the day so on both days and so she um didn't quite look at home she made a small mistake on that first day as well a couple of just uncharacteristic errors you don't see Ruth Schiffer making errors it shows that the pressure's on and, and it shows that Vlahova has I'd say she has the jump on her she certainly yeah. will do mentally going into the next slaloms in Killington yeah definitely and she got beaten by 0.31 on the Saturday 0.47 so that you can see the difference there between the small yeah. and the, the large mistake Vlahova absolutely smashed it she took both wins two reindeer Two reindeer. Uh, one of them we know is called Boris. Named the other one called Michael. Pri Prime Minister. We assume. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. It's after a brother, apparently. But, um, she's now up to five reindeer. Yeah, which Schiffer's is, only got four reindeer. I know. Um, but what, teaming them together. Yeah. A lot of reindeer. A lot of reindeer. Um, I'm thinking of a rugby team or a five aside if Schiffer can get one more. <laughs> You did too much thinking. Oh, I thinking. have done too much thinking. thinking from you. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to Blahova. She did, I mean, amazing. Yeah, she didn't really put a foot wrong all weekend. Uh, she was quickest in it, it, on the first run of the first day and the second day and yeah. then the second day as well. So she um, was supreme and she looked, she looked very calm. It didn't really look mm -hmm. like um, she was under pressure. It didn't really look like she was anything other than sort of within her... Um, limits of, of how hard she wanted to push. She took, looked like she took the foot off the gas slightly on that second because she would have known that Schifrin had made a big mistake. Mm. As much as she won't be watching, you can't help but hear that because you've got a small crowd in Levy, but you've got a crowd and you've got your coaches yeah. who would have said, you know, if Schifrin had gone down and had an absolute stellar run, no mistakes, then I'm sure Vlahova gets a different message. Yeah. You know, you've got to do your best work here because Schifrin's done one of you know, yeah. a Schifrin run. And so, and I, I think she managed, she had a bit of a buffer to just take her foot off it slightly in the steeper turns and then back on it, the top flat and the bottom flat. So you think steep. that, um, or you, I assume you know, that when that second place, Schifrin in this case, comes down, that's when Vlahova gets a shout? And yeah, then, yeah. I does mean, she get told to kind of just finish kind of thing? No, or she won't get told the, that. I think she'll... What's kind of the messaging there between coaches and, and athletes? I think because I was speed, so we only really got to do one run, much easier. And uh, But when I did the, the combines and stuff, when you did know what happened, you do yeah. know what's happened. And so, you know, somebody like Schifrin, if Schifrin has a, you know, a, a Schifrin of old run where she doesn't make any mistakes and she just bosses it, absolutely bosses it, that message will need to go to Vlahova because she'll know, need to know that she's got to charge. Yeah. But if Schifrin's made mistakes, Vlahova will also know that she gets to ski 98%. Right. And therefore not risk everything for a mistake because she yeah. didn't need to risk everything yeah. on the second run because of the mistake that Schifrin had, had made. Yeah. So those, those are all things that, that, you know, these ladies have been doing it forever. So the, the messaging will be very clear, very subtle, and, and Vlahova will know exactly what she wants to know and what she doesn't want to know in that scenario for, between coaches. Amazing. Now, we're not going to look at both, uh, both runs. No. We are going to look at the Sunday second run, uh, and you're going to do Vlahova versus Schifrin. Yeah, we're going to do a lot side by side, just because I want to see what the... I want to show you guys the difference in in the sort of the, the three portions of that run, the top half, then the middle steep, and then the bottom. So I just want to be able to sort of pick out the differences and where Schiffer made that mistake. So I think we can take a look and see how they go. And we're back. And thanks for that, Ed. Very interesting as usual. Now, where are we heading off to next, mate? We are off to North America. So for the women... Yeehaw! For the women, enough of that. Uh, for the women, it's uh, GS and slalom in Killington. GS on Saturday, and the slalom is on Sunday. And for the men, it's the turn of the big boys on the speed skis. 
uh, and it's downhill on Friday, downhill on Saturday, and then Super G on Sunday. So wow, packed! It's going to be a packed schedule. Us. We are going to be very busy. We are going to be very busy, and we are also going to be doing it over Zoom because I Zooming. will be in the French Alps. Um, but that'll still work, right? Such a um, yeah, I have yeah, to yeah. beat that one out. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, work. <laughs> thank you very much for joining. Please remember, like, subscribe below, uh, and thanks from me. Yeah, and uh, until next time, bye for now.